Hey guys, what's going on? It's Zach. I know the lighting's not too great in here. I'm in my garage, as you can probably tell, um, but that's where I keep my gear for the most part. Um, what I wanted to do today is talk to you a little bit about my budget sleep system I was able to use just recently over Thanksgiving in the Linville Gorge Wilderness. Now, why I say budget is because I don't own a 20 degree bag. I own a 35 degree synthetic bag right now. That's my backpacking bag because it's the lightest uh, sleeping bag I have. Now, the bag I have is right here. This is the Outdoor Vitals OV Light 35 degree synthetic bag. It has a uh, hollow filament uh, synthetic insulation polyester, I guess. And um, anyway, yeah, it's rated to 35 degrees. I've slept with it down to about 45 degrees very comfortably. I was actually too warm to even have the hood over my head. I woke up sweating a little bit, so I had to take the hood off. So this thing's definitely worth the bang for the buck. It was only about $37, I think, on sale, and it only weighs 2.2 pounds. So definitely a backpacking sleeping bag weight uh, for a 35 degree bag. Now, I knew it was going to be a little bit colder in Linville, colder than any weather I'd experienced using this bag before. So I had to do some modifications. Now, we know if you're into backpacking, you know it's all about experimenting. It's all about making do with what you have and, and finding ways to overcome different obstacles. That's kind of the exciting part about it for me. So this was kind of exciting for me too. So what I did was I used this bag. I wore a polyester base layer pants and shirt. And I also combined the bag with this right here. This is the Costco Double Black Diamond Synthetic, or uh, I'm sorry, Down uh, 700 fill Duck Down Throw Blanket. This costs $19.99 at Costco. They still have them. Our Costco here in Greensboro has a ton of them still. Um, they come in different colors. It's pretty cool. So what I did is I opened my sleeping bag up. I lined this sucker inside. And with my base layer and this, I was perfectly comfortable at night. Um, a couple times I woke up because my feet got cold. I pulled as I tossed and turned at night, which I do as I sleep naturally. I uh, pulled the blanket up past my feet so I could, my feet started to get cold when the blanket got pulled up and that woke me up once or twice. But overall I woke up refreshed, felt like I had a good night's rest. And the temperature actually got colder than I thought it was. The low was 27 degrees. So for a $37 uh, sleeping bag, plus a $20 uh, down quilt, you get a sub 30 degree sleep system that works fantastic. If I had wore my jacket, uh, I have like a fleece jacket I hike in, and my hiking pants, I probably could uh, withstood even lower temperatures. Um, I don't really know how comfortable I would have been. Um, that's for another experiment later, but <laughs> I don't really don't want to be way back in the woods uh, when, I, when I do that. So. <laughs> Anyway, this was, uh, I just wanted to share this with you because I am on a pretty tight budget. I've got a family to take care of, we're on one income, and uh, I, I needed to do something, and this worked great for me, and this is probably be my system for quite some time, and I wanted to share that with you. So, less than $60 for a sub-30 degree system, I think it's pretty good. Take care, guys. Hey guys, because I'm a goober and you can't have a sleeping system without a sleeping pad, I forgot to show you that. But let me show you the sleeping pad I use. It's right over here. That's my backpack right here. And my sleeping pad is attached to it. This is just like a, I think it's a Stan Sport closed cell foam blue pad. Something you see all over the place for like, I don't know, $12 or so. This thing's actually proved to be pretty, pretty good. It's comfortable enough for me to sleep on. And you get a little bit of our value out of it. Um, so yeah, that's what I use. So combine that with everything else I talked about. It worked great. But um, I'm really into the DIY thing. And uh, I wanted to give a couple of shout outs to a couple of guys that uh, have, have helped me uh, as far as kind of getting my gear together and coming up with decent ideas. Um, you got Darwin from Darwin on the Trail. Evan Evans backpacking videos if you haven't checked them out uh, check them out I'll put their links below um, both those guys have pretty popular pages and um, another guy I give a shout out to I just started following thanks to a recommendation from uh, Evan was Trent Williams he's a 12 year old kid he makes some outdoor videos and um, 
kind of I kind of agree with everybody else. It's awesome to see some young kids nowadays getting into the outdoors. So uh, definitely check Trent out. He's he seems like a really cool kid and makes some funny videos that really brought back some awesome memories from my childhood and growing up and uh, getting outside and enjoying hiking and just exploring the woods and things. So check him out. I'll put his link in below as well. Take care.